we are doing a performing surveillance for respiratory viruses at the human animal interface at poultry farms and uh, swine slaughterhouses. And we're also looking for respiratory viruses at kindergartens here in Cebu. There's an ever increasing prevalence of zoonotic viruses, especially. Um, and, it's, and so I think it's really important for us to lay, lay a groundwork, lay a framework for potential, potential future research to take place in this region, or even just to know what's, what's in the air. Um, I, I think that's a really important question that, um, that isn't necessarily easily answered um, and isn't necessarily uh, easily researched either. And so I, I think we, we really bring something to the table here by coming here, um, and it really uh, can have a positive impact, impact on the local community, uh, as well as foster con continued uh, collaboration between uh, Duke University, Cebu Hospital, and uh, the public health department here. We're at a chicken farm um, located just outside of Cebu, um, looking at a hen house with approximately 20,000 chickens in it. It's a layer house, so they're collecting the eggs from these chickens. And so we're doing our bioaerosol sampling here today. We're here at the largest swine avatar in the city of Cebu, Sarawak. Um, there are about 200 pigs here that are going to be processed in the next two hours, uh, made by a couple handfuls of workers. So we've set up four different bioaerosol samplers at four different areas within the processing plant. And after two hours, we'll come back, collect the samples, take them back to the lab, process them, and see what we pick up. For me, being able to work collaboratively with a team of undergraduates, graduate students, medical students, and with the um, medical officers here at Cebu Hospital has been incredibly useful for me career-wise. Um, still looking to a future perhaps in medicine, perhaps in research. Um, it's been helpful for me to see what people are doing on the global health stage. Um, with different degrees and different capabilities. So I think as a medical student, it was really interesting um, to be able to come along on this project and kind of see medicine and research in um, kind of a more resource-limited environment. Um, it was really neat to be able to see the diagnostic capacity of our local collaborators and how public health officials were working around in the city. For us to know about what's happening in the outside hospital boundaries. We have to go out and see for ourselves how the condition outside the, outside the hospital is like. Because in the hospital, most of the time when the patient comes into the hospital, they're already ill. We just treat the sickness. We just treat the sickness without knowing what caused the sickness. So through public health knowledge, as well as going to see for ourselves what is happening out there, outside the hospital, it will give us knowledge and it will help us to manage uh, patients holistically rather than just treating the symptoms per se. So the purpose of my study with melidosis is to bringing in these uh, novel diagnostic tools um, that utilize the lateral flow immunoassay um, that works kind of like how the home pregnancy test works. Um, to detect the disease easier and faster um, and more accessible for the laboratorians and the physicians in Kapit Hospital, which is um, located in Kapit, um, a rural town that is only accessible by three-hour boat rides. By bringing in these uh, novel tools, the physicians in Kapit will be able to diagnose the patients faster and more accurately, um, and then in, cons in the consequences, um, the patients can uh, receive the right treatments um, in a timely manner. We are pursuing enrollment of patients with dengue-like symptoms uh, so that we can collect their biological samples and test it for three different viruses to see what is actually the causative agent for those symptoms. Um, and we're also piloting a really cool diagnostic tool um, brought to us by our friends at Tetracorin in Rockland, Maryland. You know, there's, a, a, I guess, a potential opportunity that if chikungunya and Zika are circulating here, the good chance that we'll detect them. But I think that's uh, not really uh, well understood yet, whether or not those viruses are here. So this could be a very unique opportunity uh, to look at that.
Uh, I must say that we're enjoying all these collaborations so far that with the help on the Duke and uh, with the students who you know with uh, skills uh, that is actually helping us to do these surveillance studies. So I, I think it, it put all the pieces together that so that we can actually um, collaborate and use something positive that is useful for uh, not just for us but also for uh, for Duke as well as for the um, the global um, uh, uh, clinicians and uh, practices.